Hey everyone, this is Leadbetter 17P. We're doing uh, a series of games on The Wolf Among Us, as you see. This is Sheriff Bigby Wolf. We are we just did episode two, part one, so now we're gonna start with episode two, part two. We are uh, we just got done talking to TJ, and uh, we're gonna. Go look at the body now. We're down by the witching well, so let's walk on over. Snow White and Bluffkin are already over there. So we'll walk on over there and continue part two. to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. Looks just like Faith's dead. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Why bother with the right perfume if the appearance isn't completely accurate? Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. Pry it open. Doing? Only way to find out. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? It looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their yep, arms. Yep, she was druggy. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. Sorry that about the noise in the background. I don't know if you can hear the There's song. Extra one, here. one of my daughter's toys just went off. You're right. 
These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow. I need to open her coat. Bigby, just let me. Still okay? I... Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here, now that you're done smashing bottles on people. What have you found out? Her glamour is defective. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. Take a look at her pocket. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. Silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. Knowing her look, she's going commando and probably not wearing any. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? Well, you keep quiet. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I think I can figure it out. Something to do with these rings here. All right, now let's see if I can remember how to do this. First shot. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think... This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Piece of hair? Let me guess. It's my hair. Yeah. It's kind of creepy. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You've got to be kidding me. Holy shit. Well, that helps explain the glamour. Kind of. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. She looks like Holly. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. If Snow wants to come with me, 
I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. Do anything against what Crane says. I can't stand him. This whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. I'm really not in the mood right now. Well, I was in the mood to play darts, so I guess nobody's getting what they want. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. He's still supposed to be in custody. Crane. Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Big B, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to- Jack, find the off button, now. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Both of you, listen. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy! Ah, fuck! What'd I do? It's... Ah. Throw him out of the bar. Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Gren, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. All right then. Actually, have there been any updates? Holly. Your sister's dead. She's the one we found early this morning. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? You gave one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us. She might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been. All right, clear out. Give her some room. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't.
we recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. That was decent of you. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? And out he goes. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Did she have any friends? Anyone who could tell us what she might have been doing? Why she'd be a target? I don't know about her friends. She hung around where she worked, mostly. She was looking to pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to... No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking up for our own. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. Of course. Okay, good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Awesome. I guess being nice in the game does pay off, right? Sometimes. See if we can find a break here real quick and we'll uh, try to end this. Okay, we just saved. Good deal, good deal. So we'll pause real quick. So that is part two of episode two of The Wolf Among Us. If you guys like what you see, click the like button down below. Leave a comment in the comment section. And if you want to see more of this series... Don't forget to subscribe because I will be playing through. I've already done uh, episode one. We're working on episode two now. And we will be working on episode three after this at some point. And um, those are the only three episodes that they have released so far. So we'll get those three done. And when we get new ones out, we'll get those and do those too. So as always, this is Ledbetter17P. Thanks for watching.